Do you know how to tell a Tesla apart? A Ford Mustang and a Ferrari, that's a good bet, by the way, because of how drastically they can vary in appearance from one another. But did you realize that there is yet another distinction between these vehicles? Let's investigate the foundation of any car, electric or otherwise, the platform. The outward design of a car, like the Model 3 Mustang or the Daewoo Lanos, is usually what first catches our attention, but there is more to it than meets the eye. The car's platform is what makes it more than just a box on wheels. It determines how well a car will run, how efficient it will be, and how easily it can be mass-produced. Tesla realized this early on and jumped ahead of the competition by inventing the Model S, so laying the groundwork for the next generation of electric automobiles. Ten years later, Tesla has introduced a breakthrough that will forever alter the face of automobiles, and with it, the electric vehicle platform. Tesla's electric vehicle skateboard platform has been criticized in the comments by those who claim that General Motors invented it first. This is not completely false, but it is also not completely correct. It's a little trickier than that. Let's look into them more closely. The autonomy was introduced by General Motors in January 2002 as a concept car with a spaceship-like design. Hydrogen fuel cell technology provided the power for this concept car's futuristic look. The body rested atop an autonomous platform styled after a skateboard, hence the name. The plan was to build a standard chassis that could accept any type of vehicle body. Although the autonomous vehicle concept was well-conceived, it was never built. The progress made by GM is worthy of praise. General Motors deserves credit for creating a working electric automobile on the high wire, a hydrogen fuel cell skateboard platform. The high wire demonstrated the possibilities of the platform in a Top Gear episode, but it didn't look anything like the ultra-futuristic autonomy notion. James May demonstrated the high wire steer by wire capabilities by driving it around a parking area. The car's skin could be removed from the chassis, exposing a skateboard-like platform powered by hydrogen fuel cells. The high wire was an actual electric car with a single front-axle electric motor that could generate 80 brake horsepower and attain a top speed of 100 miles per hour, despite its very low profile. One higher wire, worth around $10 million at the time, was ever made, underscoring its rarity. In 2003, GM boldly declared that they will have a marketable version of the platform ready by 2010. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. One version of events has it that GM tried to get reassurance from ExxonMobil, the largest petroleum manufacturer in the world, that it would build the hydrogen filling infrastructure needed for the fuel cell platform to succeed. Because of the low price of gasoline at the time, ExxonMobil naturally decreased. Instead of pursuing the ultimate fuel source by altering the design, say, by swapping out the hydrogen fuel cell for batteries, GM abandoned the idea. Even though General Motors, GM, had a battery-powered electric automobile in the 1990s before the subsequent surge in gasoline costs due to geopolitical events, they ignored it and scrapped the project in the same manner they did their hydrogen skateboard experiment just recently. Before Tesla came along, they pretended these concepts had never been considered. Now politicians like Joe Biden are saying that General Motors pioneered the electric vehicle movement. Let's have a deeper look at his point of reference. GM's plan for a battery-powered car was intriguing but ultimately doomed because of technical difficulties. They also came up with a neat but problematic plan for an electric skateboard platform, which they eventually scrapped. In 2008, the Tesla Roadster became the second all-electric car to be featured on Top Gear. It was more effective than the high wire, although its design was dated. The Roadster was based on the chassis of a Lotus Elise, a sports car with a mid-mounted engine and rear-wheel drive. Although it had a longer wheelbase and shared only 6% of components with the Elise, Tesla's chassis was unlike anything other on the market. Lotus, however, built Tesla's chassis out of the same stuff that they do for the Elise. The Roadster wasn't an ideal EV platform because the battery modules were only stacked beneath the front seats instead than integrated into the floor. The Lotus transmission and differential were relocated to make room for the Tesla engine motor, which was relocated to the vehicle's tail. The automobile was remarkable, but it wasn't based on a truly practical electric vehicle basis. 
With the new model, everything shifted. Elon Musk's vision was realized when Tesla sold the Roadster and utilized the proceeds to create the first mass-produced completely electric automobile. They used a method called first principles thinking, which involves returning to basics. When developing a chassis with an integrated battery pack and power electronics, to ensure a low center of gravity and even weight distribution, the battery modules were all laid flat in the middle of the chassis. On the surface, the Satan's body and structure looked like those of any other automobile. In reality, though, it was a battery-operated motorized skateboard on the inside. Using the same skateboard platform as the Model S, Tesla has produced thousands of Model X SUVs. The chassis is adaptable, with options for different sized battery packs and single or dual motor rear or all-wheel drive. The Model S served as the inspiration for the skateboard-like platform used by most modern electric vehicles. A hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, on the other hand, is the genuine original skateboard from General Motors. However, there are only two such vehicles in circulation, and they both mostly serve the California market and were not manufactured by General Motors. While Tesla wasn't the first to conceptualize a skateboard-style platform for an electric vehicle, they were the first to design a fully functional battery-powered version that could be mass-produced without relying on the fossil fuel sector. In their second decade of manufacturing, Tesla has improved the effectiveness, integration, and production friendliness of their EV skateboard platform to new heights. In 2020, on Tesla's Battery Day, the company presented a new version of its skateboard platform with a streamlined and improved look. The structural battery pack is the main innovation. The battery pack replaces the chassis, which used to house the battery modules in earlier generations. The flat metal box houses the cooling system, battery management, and Tesla's 4,680 large diameter battery cells. High density adhesive foam is used to fill in any leftover gaps, producing a super rigid construction that outperforms conventional specialized frame portions. The battery pack is flanked by two Jita castings, one each for the front and back of the chassis. This aesthetic upgrade sets the skateboard platform apart from previous iterations. The Jiga casting method utilizes the largest die casting machinery in the world to merge the wheel wells and crash rails into the base platform, removing the need for a separate suspension system that floats above the skateboard. Both the front and back halves are forged from a single piece of metal. The skateboard platform is made up of only three major pieces that are welded together. The battery pack not only replaces the vehicle's traditional structure, but it also functions as the new floor of the passenger compartment. Also, earlier revisions. Previously, the battery pack was located below the floor. Now, it is the floor. With the installation of a steering wheel and pedals, the skateboard is transformed into a fully functional automobile, complete with carpet seats and a central console. If the skateboard platform is developed, it can serve as a self-contained electric vehicle. Tesla took a risk to improve the performance and efficiency of their vehicles, expanding the capabilities of electric automobiles. This choice illustrates Tesla's dedication to innovation and their never-ending quest for betterment. Instead of taking things for granted and resting on their laurels, Tesla is always pushing themselves to do better and to achieve more.